Hey guys, this is David. I'm back again making another video. This video is about a humidity and temperature uh, server or a sensor that I've been playing with this weekend. So what I do is um, I launch Internet Explorer and this is my homepage, which is an internal address. And I have my humidity and the temperature of my bedroom. So let's see how I was able to get this going. So this is my project. I have it just hanging on a wall right now. But I have a um, an ENC 28J60. This is a um, Ethernet um, adapter for my Arduino. And this wire goes into the router. This is a DH. T11 sensor. This uh, gives um, the time. I'm sorry. It gives the uh, the temperature and the humidity of the room. And this is just an inexpensive um, Arduino. This is just a knockoff Arduino that I uh, purchased on eBay. And um, I have it all wired up, and I have it in a plastic bag here, just hanging out on my. Um, on my wall and this right here is just a wall outlet so it keeps it charged up and going uh and that's really about it so it stays here on the wall until um i launch my internet explorer browser and i have it set to an internal uh, ip address of 192.168.0.125 and it's um it's working for now it's been up for a few hours so this is the router that I have at home with uh, the cable modem and the Ethernet adapter that for the Arduino is getting plugged right into the back here. So I'll show you on eBay some of the things I purchased. So this is the ENC 28J60 Ethernet LAN adapter cable. $2.65 ship to my door. This is the seller. Came pretty quick. This is the DHT11 module on eBay. I picked this one because it already came with uh, DuPont wires. You can tell that the price is 99 cents. Shipped to your door. This is the um, one that's less accurate than the DHT22. Uh, this is the Arduino module that I purchased on eBay. And back at the day, it was uh, $2.40. So uh, this is a sample of the code that I'm using. Now it has this library, it's called ether, E-N-C, lib.h. Um, you get this library from uh, GitHub. The reason why I'm using this library instead of one called ethernet.h is that this one worked with the ethernet card that I had. And uh, the only drawback is when I uh, use it as a web server uh, if I use it with the Google Chrome or with Firefox it seems to crash the server so I'm kind of stuck with using it with Internet Explorer to get the information this section uh, deals with the IP address so this is my uh, an internal IP address that gets assigned to the uh, Arduino and it assigns it a MAC address as well. This is a line of code that I had to change. Um, make sure that it's at 9600. I was having some problems with using the float as a number. So I use an inter in integer or um, INT instead to get the um, information from the Arduino. And then also here is some of the calculations that I did. So, uh, the code uses HTML, and it was already in part of this ether enc library .h library. So this is what it sort of looks like, the code. This is where I got the code from. It's called GitHub, and it's called the ether enc library. Now to download it, you just go here, you download it, and you can add it also to um, the Arduino. And it has a lot of examples that you can try. 
So once you get the files from GitHub, this is the custom library that's listed here. And there's a few programs that you can use, such as Hello World. Um, it says Hello World. And then there's a, uh, some other programs here that you can look at, especially the web server. So it does come with some stuff. And this uh, library did work with, like I said, once again, with the car that I bought on eBay. So I'm happy about that. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, I spent about a weekend just getting this all ready and prepared. Probably in the future what I'll do is I'll take the um, plastic bag that I have here and I'll move it into maybe a nice um, plastic box perhaps or make it somehow a little bit better. But right now it's working. Everything is good. And all I have to do here is click on my Internet Explorer, which I never use because I use Firefox and mostly. Click on it. And it actually tells you uh, the humidity and stuff and, and the temperature. And that's really about it. Thanks for watching my video. Goodbye.